Hawk Moth, a miraculous ladybug fan fiction, narrated and written by Janet Bonilla. This is the third part to A Slow Reveal, so if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the playlist for the previous parts. Please leave support by liking and commenting, and other than that, I hope you enjoy. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. I'm Nadia Shamak, and we're bringing you live footage from an unknown location that seems to be brought to you by Hawk Moth himself. Will this be the day his long-awaited defeat comes? Stay tuned! On the screen, they saw Hawk Moth's shadow with a purple glow. Surrounding him were a swarm of white butterflies, ready to evilize whoever falls into his trap. Ladybug in Chat Noir, you shall meet me at the Eiffel Tower in an hour, or all of Paris will be nothing but mummified akumas. Hawkmoth bluffed. For some reason, he thought him and Mayura could miraculously defeat them. On the screen now was a footage from the Eiffel Tower was footage from the Eiffel Tower. There was a crowd of people, from journalists to, photograph to photographers. Even the news crew was already there at the scene. Adrian looked at his Kwame. What do you think, Plag? Will we defeat him this time? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Unless my Kwame senses are failing me again. Plag nodded. He was in the palm of Adrian's hand, finishing his yummy cheese. It's go time. Plag, claws out! He only jumped on a few rooftops when he felt a hand tug at his shoulder behind him. Ladybug. Hold on, Chat Noir. I know you want to get this over with, but Hawkmoth might be tricking us. Why would he say this, knowing it would be broadcasted all through Paris? There has to be something else to it, she said sternly, knowing exactly what she wanted to do, planning to let him in on it. Oh, Ladybug, in fact, I don't care how long this takes, as long as we defeat him. But you're right. What plan do you have in store today, Ladybug? He refrained from using his usual nicknames for her today. He liked Marinette, which is why he had to stop flirting with Ladybug. If there was even a small chance he could be with Marinette, he would certainly take it. Ladybug happened to notice this small change, because while stopping him and ducking into a rooftop wall so that she could tell him her plans, she asked him teasingly, No more milady or bugaboo. Who's the lucky lady that caught the cat's eye? She winked. LB, are you jealous of my newfound love? Shat said, putting a hand on his chest dramatically, thinking she'd get flustered because of the jealous remark. She did get flustered, but it was not because of that particular remark. It was the love one that made her blush a slight tinge of pinky red. Why? Because she never realized Shat liked her, let alone love her. Or was this just another part of his ruse to try to get a date with Ladybug? Just one last time. Either way, if he meant it or not, he said it. I... Uh, we can talk about this some other time. Right now, we have to focus on the task at hand. She shook her head and whispered her plan to him. She really hoped it would work. Everyone counted on them to defeat Hawkmoth. After all... It had been almost five miserable years of fighting him. Shat nodded. You got it. 
meet back here with them in hmm, 20 minutes? Yes, but maybe not here, just in case. Hawk Moth, just in case Hawk Moth is spying on us. What about another nearby rooftop? I'll send you the location by this one bakery not too far away. You mean the Dupen Chang Bakery? Shat asked. Yes, I think so. You go there a lot? She asked, raising a brow. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. He had a lopsided grin on his face, to which Ladybug also smiled at. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you later, LB. See you soon, Chat Noir. Ladybug waved before zipping away into an alley. Meanwhile, Chat Noir detransformed in another somewhat faraway alley. I'll give her some time to go before we meet. We need to go get some cheese anyway. <laughs> Not because I want to, though, Plag. Because I have to, so you can transform me later. Adrian groaned, having enough of Plag's cheese antics. Sure, Adrian, whatever you say. I prefer 300-year-old cheese, by the way. The Kwame smiled at his owner mischievously. I'll see what I can do, Plag. Adrian started leaving the alley towards the cheese store. It was only about a mile away so it wouldn't take too long to walk there and come back. Maybe 10, 15 minutes, which would be just enough time. Marinette Dupin Cheng, you must pick an ally you can trust to fight alongside you on this mission. Once the mission is over, you will, give, you will get the miraculous back from them and return it to me. Master Fu said his usual line when giving her another hero's miraculous. Who will you give a miraculous to help you, Marinette? Tiki questioned. I think I'll give Alia, Nino, and Chloe their miraculouses. Better safe than sorry, and don't worry, Tiki. I have a plan to weaken Hawk Moth. Because I'm sure, today, he is bringing Mayura. Marinette replied to Tiki while putting all the Miraculouses in their boxes and in her purse. Okay, we must hurry, Marinette. It's been almost 20 minutes already. And we still need to give the Miraculouses without Hawk Moth noticing Ladybug or Chat Noir. It took them around 15 minutes to get to Master Fu's, and achieving them took almost as much time. Don't worry, I already left a note to each of them before this to meet Shat or me in specific places. I knew I would need them, now more than ever. Marinette, you are one of the smartest ladybugs I've seen thus far. Maybe a bit impulsive at times, but your creativity and will to thrive certainly makes up for it, Master Fu told her with a smile on his face. See, I told you, you'll do great, I'm sure of it, Tiki said, remembering their conversation about fighting Hawk Moth a few days ago. With that, she hurried out of Master Fu's and transformed in the alley she was just in and zipped to the rooftop by her house. Shat was already there waiting. He was sitting there thinking when he saw a Ladybug. Hello there, Ladybug. I was starting to think you weren't coming, he joked. Please, this isn't some kind of date. This is serious, she insisted. Sorry, LB, it's just we're probably going to be fighting for a long time. 
Might as well play some jokes while I can. Shat grinned, giving her finger guns. Ladybug sighed while handing him the Bee Miraculous. Be quick. We don't have very much time. We have about 30 minutes left before we have to meet with Hawk Moth. You got it, Ladybug. Stay in touch? Shat asked, putting an earpiece in his ear. Of course. And as quick as they came... They left to meet with the other miraculous holders. Nino and Alia came together because they already knew each other's identity, so she already took care of her part. About 15 minutes later, everyone was here, and Ladybug and Chat Noir were ready to reveal the plan. Ladybug began first. Now, as hard as it is, we need to focus on defeating Hawk Moth, not protecting each other. Don't you mean protect, protecting each other, LB? Shat cut her off a bit. Everyone had a quick chuckle at that, except Ladybug. Ha ha, very funny, Shat. She gave him a fake grin while also narrowing her eyes. My miraculous ladybugs will fix everything after. After we defeat them both Hawk Moth and Myra, so we don't have to worry about that. Then Shat began again. <laughs> Anyways, besides also focusing, do not come out until we say otherwise. We need to deceive them into thinking this fight will be a piece of cake, even if it looks like we're struggling. Got it? Everyone nodded quietly. I have a question, Ladybug, Carapace asked. What is it, Ni- <clears throat> Carapace? Ladybug coughed, almost forgetting she couldn't say his actual name. Do you think we're actually going to catch him? We're actually going to catch Hawk Moth? This time, he asked, a bit concerned. It had been years, and they still hadn't defeated him. Of course. As long as we stick together, follow our plan, and most importantly, be careful, Ladybug said optimistically. They stood there for another five minutes going over the plan, and asking questions so they knew what to do when it was their turn to fight. Their first priority was to capture Mayura so that Hawk Moth could no longer use his most powerful weapon and had to resort to fighting them with the Kumas, which would be much easier to defeat than Senti monsters. Ladybug actually hoped they could defeat him before he even had the chance to akumatize someone. They also had two designated spots where they could rest, one where everyone started out, where they would put the villains when and if the time came to capture them, and the other was to be transform in if need be. She made sure to make to have secure hideouts because all because of all the people who were gonna watch them fight. It was almost time. Hawk Moth hadn't arrived yet, but they wanted the leverage and made their way to the Eiffel Tower, while the others said their good lucks to them, hopeful of how the day would end. Good luck! You'll do great! Rena Rouge waved before they left. So Ladybug and Chat Noir made their way to the Eiffel Tower. Ladybug... What if Carapace is right? What if we can't defeat Hawk Moth? Shat started doubting whether they could do this or not. Don't worry, Shat. We'll be all right. Remember the first time we fought him and I insisted we would catch him? I intend on keeping my word, she said, as if the nerves that she once had about fighting Hawk Moth never existed. 
Chat sighed with relief. <sighs> All right, LB. You're right. We can do this. He smiled. Bye-bye, little feather. Ladybug cleansed the amok while Queen Bee headed back to detransform. They were right. Hawk Moth did bring Myra. He also ambushed them, which is why Queen Bee came out to help. They told her she was to protect them if she saw that he tried blitz attacking them. Ladybug saw Myra, anger in her eyes, looking around for something else to amokatize. Now was their chance. Rena, carapace, now, hurry! She cupped her hands while shouting out towards the hiding spot. Rena Rouge and Carapace came out shielding themselves with Carapace's shell power and hurtled themselves towards Mayura. Hawk Moth was caught off guard by their appearance, which gave Ladybug and Chat Noir the chance to attack Hawk Moth so that he wouldn't try attacking Rena Rouge and Carapace and would instead try defending himself against Ladybug and Chat Noir. They already used their powers when fighting the Senti monster, which meant Ladybug and Chat Noir only had a few minutes before they had to detransform. Meaning, Rena Rouge and Carapace had a little time to capture Mayura before Hawk Moth wasn't distracted anymore. Carapace carried the woman into their makeshift lair and stayed there to make sure she didn't try escaping. Queen Bee sprinted out because she knew Chat Noir and Ladybug had to detransform soon, and she already fed pollen in the little time that Carapace and Rena Rouge went out to fight. Ladybug and Chat Noir hurried into the transformation hideout, closed their eyes, and quickly fed their Kwamis. As they were doing so, Rena Rouge remembered the plan and made an illusion of Ladybug and Chat Noir running out, so Hawk Moth would get distracted, and Queen Bee, Queen Bee could sting him. Queen Bee was fighting Hawk Moth so that he wouldn't notice Rena activating her power. Mirage! As soon as Rena activated her power, that's when Queen Bee was a second too late, because activating her power took too long, and Hawk Moth, who was now in a dust of illusions, and Anger tried heading for the transformation hideout, where Marinette and Adrian remained with their eyes closed, feeding their Kwamis. Luckily, Par Carapace came out, hearing their cries for help, just in time to tackle him, only a couple feet from where the superheroes were. With her venom still activated, Queen Bee helped Carapace, and she stung Hawk Moth, and she stung Hawk Moth from behind, and it, it worked. Ladybug and Chat Noir came out refreshed, and then realized what was going on. Before they could celebrate, Chat Noir saw something from the corner of his eye. Guys, Mayura, Ladybug, quick, your yo-yo. Chat pointed to Mayura who was wearing a black leather mask, trying to flee from the scene. It looked like she was detransformed, but the mask was covering her face, so they couldn't tell who it was. Ladybug shot out her yo-yo, wrapping it around Mayura, who stumbled on it, causing her to fall to the ground. Everyone high-fived and hugged before calling the authorities to pick them up. The news crew got it all on camera and talked to all the superheroes. Wait, guys, let's take a picture to remember this, Queen Bee yelped, stealing a phone from a random photographer. Here, Ladybug, you can take it, she handed her the phone. Oh, okay, say Camembert, Ladybug snapped, a quick photo of the team giving it back to the woman who Chloe had stolen it from, after forwarding the photo to Chloe. There was one thing that should be mentioned, though. About 30 minutes before this, when they captured Mayura, 
carapace thought it would be a good idea to take the peacock miraculous intending on give it to on giving it to ladybug after this whole ordeal was over when carapace took her brooch off he found the woman under the mask to be natalie adrian's father's assistant this can't be right he looked around for something to hide her with so that nobody else could tell who it was. He saw Ladybug's lucky charm, a red polka-dotted box. In it, a Chat Noir costume. So he hastily opened the box and handed her the mask to put on. Here, nobody else needs to know who you are right now, especially the news crews out there right now. She nodded, putting the mask on, slightly on edge because she didn't know why he even cared for her at this moment. Yeah, sure, she tried endangering everybody, but he thought this kind of publicity wouldn't be good for Adrian, let alone his father. That is when the realization hit him. Wait, if, if you're Myura, that must mean, Carapace's face turned from confused to surprised, Hawk Moth is, is Gabriel aggressed?